we're effectively a department that never sleeps. We are responsible for testing and validating all the software that goes onto our vehicles. Software is getting more and more complex all the time. Every day, more and more functions get added to our vehicles, and it's really, really important that we are stressing that software to the absolute limit. The reality is that in order to unlock all of the emotions, the engagement, the passion in our cars, the software has to work perfectly. The software of the vehicle is effectively like the central nervous system. It coordinates every other part without that functioning absolutely perfectly the whole car does not work as a package. We have to try and do everything that you might possibly expect a customer to do. Behind me we have two lab cars. These are electrically an entire vehicle, but are set out in a way that allows us to access everything, test everything very quickly. We can access them from anywhere in the world. They have cameras so that whoever's using them off-site, on-site, can see what's going on at any one time. Monitor things on the instrument cluster, they can see what the lights are doing. The car thinks it's a real car, but it's sat here in our test centre. Even what can seem like a fairly small change can have massively wide reach impacts for the software on a vehicle. We're effectively a department that never sleeps. Take, for example, something like the 750S Spider. On face value, you're taking the roof off a car. To us, in a software world, that has a knock-on impact in many, many areas. So you remove the roof, obviously you've got to add some controls. You need those controls to work when you want them to work, so the roof to open when it should do and not open when it shouldn't. You change the door, therefore the window controls change. You've changed the cabin, therefore the audio changes. You have to ensure that the alarm works. That's before you even think about driving the car. Take the car out and we need to start thinking about the chassis. We've added a bit of weight to the car, therefore we tune the suspension. That needs validating. The aero changes of the car. We do a new active aero calibration, both with the roof open and the roof closed. Again, it's more software changes. So what seems like quite a simple change, actually from a software point of view, touches most parts of the car.